In this video, you will see how to embed a Google Sheet into your WordPress website. Not only WordPress website, you can use this method to embed any Google Sheet to any website like any HTML website or any website built with any other platform. So we have a Google Sheet here and we want to embed this to the site. So for that, first we need to create a new page or a new post where do you want to add the Google Sheet. So we'll create a page here for this demo and name this anything you want. Okay. Now here we need to embed the code. So for that, you have to publish the Google sheet so that we can embed it. For that, you have to go to file, share and publish to web. And here you have to go to the embed tab and you need to select the sheet you want to embed. For me here, I have only one sheet. So it is showing the sheet one, select it and select the publish button. And you have to confirm it here and you will get this code here. If you see this publish content and settings, you can stop the publishing anytime you want if you don't want to share it anymore so let's copy the code and go to the page we want to embed the google sheet and on a new block search for custom html if you search for html it will be here custom html and embed the code so this is the basic embedding if you preview we'll see the data here let's see it on a new tab and it is you see it doesn't look good so we need to make it beautiful first what we will do we'll fix the height and the width now here go to html and to add a height and width we can just add width maybe 800 and add a height to 800 it depends on the data the google sheet has so now if you save draft and preview it you can see the width is 800 but the height is not 800 okay because i have made a mistake here that's why now if we preview this you can fix the height accordingly like how many data you have how many columns and how many rows you have height is too much so we can exclude it to maybe 500 and preview it and see it is good now now we are seeing this title here we don't want to display the title on the embedded google sheet so what you need to do if you come here on the code and you will find the header false at the end what you need to do you have to add at the rate amp semicolon and you have to write chrome equals to false and update it and preview it and you see there's no header but still we see the sheet name here the google sheet name so how to hide that you see already the widget is true that widget means that the it will display that google sheet name so we can make it false and update it don't worry you will find the code uh, in the video description everything i am doing here you will see in the video description now it is perfect google sheet integration with the wordpress website but we can do a lot more let's see if you want to display the row number and the column number like this one two three a b c d if you need that how can you do that you see the headers here you just need to make it true 
and preview in a new tab and you see that numbers are showing a b c d e f usually we don't need to display the row numbers and the column numbers so we can keep it uh, false the headers false and update it the next important thing what we can do we don't want to display everything like maybe you have a lot more data on the google sheet but you want to display some rows or some columns or maybe this data anything you want to display like we have a, a b c d e f column but we want to display only the a b c and d column here so how to do that for that we have to use the range function the range parameter here how to do that for that you have to again you have to add amp and semicolon and you have to write range equals to a1 to we want to display or uh, maybe a1 to d13 so let's make it d13 and preview it see we only see the a1 to d13 data here a1 to d13 data you can display any range like if you have some data here maybe here uh, like anywhere on the google sheet anywhere we can di just uh, display that data using this range you have to put the uh, cell name accordingly so this is the cell name if you move your mouse cursor on the cells you will see the cell names at the top left but name box so it is a1 and we have added data up to d13 it is d13 so you can use that so it is just uh, selecting this range you can display any range you want one more thing sometimes we don't want to uh, make the height like this much because we want to display it in a shorter height and we want to add a slider like this so we can just control that using the height attribute here if you make it 100 we can try what it looks you can see it is 100 now so people can scroll down here and see the data right perfect so for now i am displaying all the data for the video demo so we have data up to f 20 so i am adding f 20 here and update preview and see okay i have to make the height 700 yes 700 it is good we have everything let's see how to freeze the top row like we can do on google sheet or excel worksheets like what is freezing top row so if you go to view fridge and number one row maybe you have like thousands of data and you want to uh, keep the header static so that it becomes easier for the visitors it is static if you make this static on the google sheet it doesn't help like it will not uh, be static on the uh, embedded google sheet so how to do that this is a little bit tricky we have to do the same thing twice and use the range function like we have seen before so how to do that select a new html and we'll delete the first one after doing that and here we need to create a table i have the table code ready here yes this is the table i'll paste this code uh, in the video description or you will find the code on the blog post the link is in the first comment okay here what we will do we'll copy the exact same thing the iframe we have used and paste it to the table first table data first row this is our first row and here we will display only a1 to f1 a1 to f1 our table like our header table header and again we'll paste it to the next table row and we will display 
a to f20 this means a2 to f20 okay and what we will do we'll make the height of the first embedded google sheet to 20 and now we can delete this and preview here how it looks you see this is static but we did not do the interesting thing yet let's do that the interesting thing is if we make it 300 and update this and now we can keep it simple like we can see that it is static table we cannot control so much uh, like we cannot uh, remove this all these things but i will add a custom css code to uh, hide these spacings and if you have any border here uh, like this border is coming from the theme maybe on your uh, website this border will not be here it can show uh, something else so i'm using it on a demo website so i haven't done with the theme or anything so you can use this trick to make anything static like the uh, top row static so here we are just using the top data here and after that for the second embed we are using the other data but one thing we have added data up to f20 f20 here but if we add it to like f like 30 update it and when you add some more data here it will be updated here automatically a google sheet updates the data in every five minutes so it is a good thing that you can use google sheet integration with wordpress to display any dynamic data you want you will just need to update the google sheet when you want and it will be updated you don't need to do anything with the website thank you for watching and uh, if you have any queries or question you can leave in the comment or contact me uh, using the email address you will find in the video description visit positivegeek.com uh, for more interesting articles and interesting guides thank you please like share and subscribe